six months ago, I reacted to anime for the very first time. I reacted to a bunch of anime openings within one video. I think it was about five or six openings. One of those openings included Unravel. And since then, I have not listened or heard the song. I have never heard the full song. And in the anime community, from what y'all told me, this is one of the most well-known and praised intro songs, or songs, in the world. The intro already did some shit to me that no person ever could do to me. If it's anything like the rumbling from Attack on Titan, the intro killed me, but the full song resurrected me just to kill me again. Alright, you little pieces of shit. Let's get to the song. Alright, here we go. I haven't heard anything from this moment on. Everything before this was the intro. Oh my god. How long is this? Oh my god, there's like another full half of the song. I don't know how this guy does this with his voice, man. Like, I don't know how he does it, but, but it actually sounds good. Let me just tell you right away. That character design is so fucking sick. Like, if I wanted to look like one person in the world, it's not Chris Hemsworth, Thor. It's this guy. Oh, shit! Oh. Holy shit, man! That, 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 that screech! Oh, my God! How the fuck is this even real? See, maybe this video wasn't the best video for me to do when I have a severe fucking headache. But honestly, I don't even care. I don't even care if this headache gets 10 times worse at this point. Because this is a masterpiece. Honestly. The band is absolutely incredible. Like, just listen to those drums and the riff. The riff! From the moment he goes Row! into the next part. <laughs> Oh my god, I got to experience this shit live! Live! Imagine! That right there is so fucking insane. I, I, I can't believe we're only like 60% through the song right now. What the fuck?! <laughs> Sounds like the guitar is screaming. Like the guitar just had like emotional damage and got cheated on by his girlfriend. You know when you get cheated on, so you hit that gym and you become like a different version of yourself. Like you transport yourself from from live action to, to an actual anime character in that gym. Like you're you're just some super saiyan shit. That's what that guitar just did. Seriously, that guitar had a fucking chip on his shoulder. And by chip, I mean like the Death Note chip. You know that chip that Light Yagami ate? That's the fucking chip on its shoulder. <laughs> Woo! Holy shit, what instrument is that? Right here, right here, right here. Do you hear that fucking sh Dude, this guitar has to go to church after this. Like, I swear to God, I've never related with a guitar more in my life. Like, that guitar literally had its heart broken during that song, and, and then now he's just on a rampage. Like, he became a terrorist. Go ahead, YouTube. Demonetize me. Fuck y'all. The rhythm 
and the melody of this song. That dip right there. That <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh my god, it didn't stop. take me six months to hit a full version dude's going off like in the intro it would have stopped there but it's the outro now like he's ending the song he's in the climax and boy i'm better climax too and this shit's just all coming together now and i'm coming together with him incredible Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Don't bring it back. I am so glad he did not bring it back or they didn't bring it back right there. That was like bittersweet, perfect ending. It's like he's he didn't bring the madness of the drums and the guitar back. It was just his voice over that. It just sounded so angelic. But at the same time, he's the fucking devil. So it, it, it's like contradictory, the song. It's like evil and goodness just combining and clashing each other. No, no. When I reacted to anime for the first time and did all of those intros in that video, this was one of those songs. And I remember after listening to it, it really changed my perspective on what anime is. Because an outsider like me, never watching anime before, only anime, what, like Pokemon when I was a fucking kid, but that the, do you count that shit? Come on. Nick, you watched anime, you watched Pokemon. No, shut up. You know, before reacting to anime, I was an outsider looking in. And saying shit like, oh, it's for nerds, it's for, for fucking weirdos and shit. No, knowing damn well I was a weirdo and a nerd myself, so I don't know why I was saying that in the first place. But now, it's like, it introduced the whole world to me. It just made me, it piqued my interest in anime. Like, like I was ready. I was ready to react to that shit. And since then, it's all I've been doing on this channel. And I don't regret it at all. Nick, return to your music reactions. Taylor Swift, no. No. People ask me, what was the deciding moment in when I became an anime reaction channel or just an anime channel in, in, in general? It was Unravel. As much as I love Demon Slayer and the other intros that were in that video, Unravel, Tokyo Ghoul, that's the shit that really made me go, I gotta step in this world and see what it's about. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready. Anyways, guys, let me know down below your... Anyways... Let me know down below your favorite intro of all time. It doesn't have to be the best intro. I feel like there's a difference between a, your favorite and the best. So what's your personal favorite? And what do you think is the best? Let me know down below. But other than that, that's all for today, guys. I will see you all in the next video.